a wise man once said to me, you would make a very good lion. And I wasn't really sure what he meant. And he told me a story. That modern day lions are running around, chasing their own tails, being so busy. They're working here and they're doing that. They've been to schools, they've got homework, they've got jobs, they're climbing the ladder, they've got kids, they're running back and forward, they're rushing, they've got tablets, they've got phones, they've got, they've got so much going on to juggle in the air that their modern day lion has become stressed out and tired and slightly distraught. And that was where I was when I met this man that said you would make a good lion. I was um, having to travel long ways to get to work. I was having to pick up my daughter. There was just so much going on that I was getting stressed out that I was uh, not um, fulfilling my obligations and responsibilities at the, you know, to my best of my abilities. And it got to the point I'd fallen down the stairs and felt really, really um, unable to carry on with work because I was in so much pain. And so it just kept going and spiraling to the point where I was over emotional. I was um, uh, irritable, just stressed out and really wanting to do my best in the world and then not really being able to and knowing that I couldn't. So when I went to go see this, this wise man and I just said, I can't carry on like this. And he says, you would make a very good lion. And he described the busy modern day lions that are running around not, not um, taking care of their natural biorhythms. And he explained how this lion, this busy, stressed out modern lion goes to the doctor and says, doctor, doctor, I don't feel right. I'm stressed and I'm tired. What can I do? I need to carry on. And the doctor says, here, have these tablets, have these antidepressants, and you'll be fine. You'll be able to carry on with work, and you'll feel so much happier with yourself. So the lion goes home and takes the these pills, and in good faith, they start to work, and the lion can carry on going to work, can carry on picking up the kids, can carry on doing this, 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 this and this. But after a, a week or so, the lion realizes there's something not quite right. So goes back to the doctor and says, doctor, doctor, I think the pills that, you know, they seem to be helping, but I can't sleep now. The doctor says, oh, don't worry, have these pills, they'll help you sleep. So the lion goes back home and carries on rushing around like a crazy modern lion and takes these tablets and is sleeping better. But something is still not quite right. So the doctor, he goes back to the doctor and the doctor um, goes back to the doctor and says, doctor, doctor, I'm sleeping. I'm taking the, I'm, I'm feeling happier through the day. I am sleeping, but my skin's broken out in a complete rash and I'm really worried now, doctor, doctor. So the doctor says, oh, don't worry, put this cream on and you'll be fine. Go home and carry on with your life. So the lion goes off and knows that something isn't right. There's been stress upon stress piling up, it's, you know, with all the the symptoms that were ignored in the first place the lion's now even more of a mess more stressed and it feels more like a ticking time bomb and maybe even falling into pits of darkness of not understanding what's going on having to rush around like this modern lion with all these modern appliances and all these industries and institutions and having to juggle all the balls um the lion isn't okay and when this wise man told me you'd make a good lion what he meant really was if you think about the, the, the natural lion, the wise lion in the savannah, doesn't run around piling up wildebeest, you know, like making giant mountains of dead wildebeest for itself, just keeps piling on, piling on and just keeps running out and stressing out and running around like a headless chicken. Wildebeest don't, uh, lions don't do that. So, so what a lion actually would do is be like, you know, I'm a lion, I'm going to sit back, I'm going to lie back, um, I'll go get a wildebeest when I need one, I'll sit back and digest that, I will rest with what I've eaten, and I'll think about getting another wildebeest when I'm hungry, when I need to. So the, the modern lion is like chucking out energy left, right and centre till he has absolutely nothing left. This wise old lion, he knows to sit back and just be the lion. And he knows that he will go and get what he needs when he needs to. He knows that he can focus his energy where he needs to focus it, on the next project, on the next kill. And he knows 
that he can go and get that. And then he knows to come back to the cave or to home and chill out. And, you know, this is really what we don't do as um, is we're all, we all can be a lion. The having that wild strength and power to follow, um, to use our energy powerfully and to go and get what we need to get. We don't need to run around like headless chickens till we've got no energy left and full of drugs and piling, you know, creams on because the drugs are hurting us. <laughs> That's not how it works. So when I, I went to see this wise old man that told me I could be a good lion, I was in a state, I had already talked about that I had psoriasis yesterday, but I had psoriasis everywhere, I was incredibly stressed out, um, I didn't feel like a good mum, I didn't feel like I could give what I could at work, I'd injured my back, I just, everything was kind of falling apart and crumbling, and all he was trying to tell me was that I don't have to run around, I can actually drop the balls for a bit, like, my health is the most important thing. I don't have to run around or go take antidepressants or anything like that to try and um, keep my balls in the air. Drop the balls. <laughs> Just sit back for a moment and look at what you've got around you and let your body recuperate. And we don't know how to do that so much anymore, I don't think. There's so much going all the time that on all the time in our lives that we don't know how to stop and rest and recuperate and not feel guilty <laughs> that there's so much you know or have FOMO you know fear of missing out and it's taken me years to find like a routine where I'm not running around like a headless chicken like I don't answer my messages I might read them but I don't answer them for a day or two because I'll wait till I have a, a plenty and do it all in one go so that I can focus on other things going on um, I exercise for my body, I do it for my body, for my energy to renew, renew myself, and I eat and you know I eat healthily. So there's lots to, you know, just being a healthy, balanced, modern day lion is not easy in itself. There's so much going on out there. Um, and the other part of that, I think as well, is how to use your energy when you do want to um, use your life force and your creative powers. Like you want to. Say you've got a book to write or a project or a launch or some business idea. You know, the what you'd want to do is not run around juggling 25 balls and loads of things you maybe don't even have to be doing that aren't really your life purpose. Focus all your energy on that goal. You know, maybe have all the practices that keep your body going. But when it comes to, you know, you're going to make something happen, like focus on it and use all your energy out there. Like a lion going out hunting for that meal that it needs. And once you've done it, come back into the cave, come back to rest recuperation, come back to checking out. Okay, so how did I use, did I use my energy well? Um, did I get what I needed? Uh, have I got enough energy to go back out there yet? Or is it not time? And then not just to keep going for another thing, another thing, another thing. Uh, always coming back to that place of power, that place of centeredness and that place of balance so that you can go out and do it again, so that you can maintain an energy level. Um, you know, like a, a, a bat high, I call it high frequency uh, balanced energy levels. Uh, and that was my little bedtime story for you guys. <laughs> it's a bit late um, and I've been out for a meal and I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about so I thought that'd be a nice way of and I can't take I can't take credit for that story that was uh, a lovely man can't actually remember his name in Lancaster that sort of got me thinking um, about the stress I was putting myself under physically emotionally mentally and um, it was one of those moments that really made me see that I was hurting myself with the way I was using my life force and the way I was trying to do too much for too many people and feeling guilty so it took the guilt off the table and it meant that I could start on the you know a, a totally different uh, attitude to self-care I hope I made sense <laughs> bye